Hello everybody and welcome back to what have... Well, it's not really back I suppose at this point, but what I have decided is to be the final episode of this playthrough of Victoria 2. So that should be relatively exciting, and by that I mean we've got like two and a half years left, so we might as well just finish it up. We are at war with the British, and there's no way we can beat them, but they're also not really making any effort to fighting us. Hang on, did Persia just peace out? Wait, did the war just end? Really? Thanks, Ottomans. So they gave away our best province. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Also, uh, we must have still had some mobilized troops in this. I'm guessing that's the case. So we need two more units of infantry for sure. So let's build a unit of guards and a unit of regulars. There we go, and we've been cut in half again. But like I said, there's only two and a half years left, so that's not that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and turn down our land unit spending until we're making some money to about there. That'll be fine. And we're just going to essentially wait out the rest of this game. There's really nothing we can do here. Like, if we were to fight back against Egypt, which we don't currently have a war goal on them, and we have a truce with them currently for the rest of the game, but if we were able to fight back, Britain would defend them, but we can beat Egypt. But Britain is just, you know, being general jerks. But at this point, I, I figure we just need to uh, finish up as much tech as we can and basically call it a series. So army organization has increased. I am going to grab this army NCO training, and then we'll just dive into these commerce techs, since we're apparently no longer at war instantly. Thanks, Ottomans. You, uh, you are very helpful. By that I mean, you kind of weren't. <laughs> I wish I was able to control the peace deal there, but I was not. We can do a reform. Let's go for... What do we got for movements? Nothing. We could go for free press, then. Let's do it. Excellent. We now have a free press. And, I mean, it kind of feels like, at this point, we may as well open all of our factories again and resubsidize them. There we go. We'll see how that ends up doing in terms of money. But my guess is probably poorly. We're not currently subsidizing them at all. Ooh, we have two more projects. A liquor distillery that I'm actually going to back. We'll just max that. Gas attack capability. Oh boy. And we'll also do the machine parts factory in Gondor Tigre. We'll back that as well. Fantastic. Now, currently, all of these factories, with the exception of this artillery factory, are making money, which is nice, to be sure. That is very nice. But their factory budgets, those are going down, so we will have to subsidize them eventually. That is to be expected. They start with a thousand pounds, and once that runs out, then they either close or we have to subsidize. And you can see the subsidies are beginning. But once again, that is perfectly fine. We only have two years left, so I'm not too concerned. Like, we could turn down our defense spending as well, and I'm going to, down to around here. Dogma of Violence, huh? We could declare martial law and send in troops. Actually, I don't think we've seen this event. Political violence has claimed several lives in one of our states, as fascist paramilitaries stormed the headquarters of the local Liberal Party yesterday, killing three and wounding several more. 
The action has been met with reaction during the night as fascists, socialists, and citizen guards engage in street fighting throughout. The situation has exploded out of a relative calm, and many of the citizens in the state are angry, afraid, and concerned about where the country is heading, with several suggesting increased police budgets as a means to ensure state control. Well, we could declare martial law and send in the troops. Or we could issue a national apology. That would gain three militancy there. Let's just lose the militancy in Cordofan. Send in the troops. Fantastic. I'm just very sad that we lost our best province. All because Britain was just total jerks and wouldn't actually help us. Like, why is their opinion at negative 200? Negative 200 right now. We haven't done anything to them other than they've declared on us a couple times. <laughs> and we were even at one point increasing relations with them. But regardless, it's kind of irrelevant at this point. Let's go ahead and bring our... Where's our second army at? Oh, it's right where it needs to be. Fantastic. Fantastic. And there's no way to drill these, is there? I don't think there is. Okay. Well, we're now losing money again. That's largely okay. But I am going to turn down our spending on land units to zero. There we go. We don't need to be spending money on them right now. I am going to turn back up our military spending, though, so that we are paying our soldiers more, so that we have additional possible brigades to field, because that would be nice. We can do another reform as well. Let's go for healthcare. Perfect. We're back down to only one focus that we can do. We're encouraging craftsmen in Cordofan. And that's okay. We still need to do that. You can see our subsidies are coming in now. And the, the major reason that we have to do that is due to a lack of vertical integration, right? Because we don't really have that many raw resources ourselves. I think in future plays of Victoria 2, it's become increasingly clear that at the very least, you have to start as a civilized nation to have a good game. But, that is part of the point of this particular series, is to learn how to play this game. And I feel like just surviving to the end is a relatively big deal, and we did end up expanding. So that's good. I was planning on not losing this, though. I'll be honest. I was planning on the Ottomans fighting it out until 1936. Is what I would have done anyway. But nope. Couldn't be bothered. Unfortunate. But that's the AI for you. Well, we do have a year and a half left. And at this point, the Army NCO training will be done yet this year. And we're definitely going to start working on like our tax efficiencies things like that. We could get rid of the ringleaders of the nationalist officers. They would gain militancy, but they would lose consciousness. There we go. I mean, it is what it is. We're unlikely to see any rebellion before the end of the game. The UK j di just discredited Japan. Good for them. Wow, look at that military power. That is insane. <laughs> Increase relations. There we go. Probably should have been doing that earlier. I was trying to increase relations with the USA to get access to Zakoto, but that never happened. Nobody ever cored us either, and I'm not sure why nobody decided to core us. We've been kind of on our own this entire time. Which is also a bit of an unfortunate thing. Okay, morale increase, that's always nice. Let's grab investment banks. That is going to be finishing up early next year. So this is probably actually the last tech we're going to get. Because this is going to be wrapping up very, very soon indeed. 
just over a year, is my understanding. I think it ends on January 1st. We'll find out. However, I should probably point out here that I do already know what is coming out tomorrow in this 4 a.m. slot that Victoria 2 generally holds up until this point, and that is another Ethiopia game. But starting off much, much earlier, the Ethiopia Mega Campaign that I've been hinting at is going to be kicking off starting tomorrow, which of course, as of the day this is coming out, is November 14th, 2019. Let's go ahead and get low healthcare while we're at it. There we go. And that particular Mega Campaign is going to be lengthy, for one thing, but also a, a quite snowball-y, ultimately. We're going to be doing kind of a rags-to-riches story, but we're starting all the way back in Imperator Rome. And then from there, we will be using, well, I'll, I'll be doing this mostly off-camera, the, uh, the actual importing, because there's no importer from Imperator to Crusader Kings, so I'm going to have to use console commands to roughly recreate the country and then import that into Crusader Kings. Then, we'll play through Crusader Kings. And once that is done, we'll import into Europa. And once that is done, Victoria, so on and so forth. Until we have conquered the world. Now, if we haven't conquered the world by the end of Hearts of Iron, then I'll just continue playing in Hearts of Iron. But I'll be real surprised if we even get to Hearts of Iron if I'm honest. Then, what we're going to do is we're going to hop into Stellaris, create our United Earth of Ethiopia, or whatever I decide to call it, and uh, United Ethiopian Earth, maybe? That has a better ring to it. But anyway, we'll create it, we'll, ha we'll generate the starting system. It will be a, uh, a soul system, but um, we'll, we'll generate that, see what it is, and then we'll create that in Kerbal Space Program and then we'll dive into Stellaris and conquer the galaxy for Ethiopia. It will be a very long series. But it'll also be kind of a chill one, because we're starting so early, we are pretty much guaranteed to be a great power from anything after Imperator. So, it should be interesting. But then once we hit Stellaris, it's going to be uh, <laughs> very... Wait, in favor of laissez-faire? Um, sure. Once we hit Stellaris, it's going to be very different, because we'll be actually on even playing field, right? So we're going to be jumping from a big fish in a little pond to a little fish in a big pond. And it will be kind of glorious. Patriotic Society. A small Dinka patriotic society has reached local prominence in Nahud. Ostensibly claiming to be simply Claiming to simply organize Dinka citizens of Ethiopia to benefit of the local community, we suspect that the organization is, in fact, covertly arguing, supporting, aiding, and abetting the cause of Dinka independence. We could shut it down, but that would cause a fair amount of militancy. We'll just leave it. Game is over in a couple months anyway. <laughs> So yeah, this is absolutely the final episode of Victoria 2, but stick around because there's more Ethiopia to come. It's just that we'll be starting in Imperator, which I have figured out the way that the tech system works in Imperator is actually very similar to the way it works in Victoria now. Because it used to be that it worked much more similarly to kind of quasi-Stellaris, but now it works very similar to Victoria with the techs and invention system, except you buy the inventions instead of having them have a random chance every month, which is in some ways better, and in some ways doesn't make a huge amount of sense. But regardless, that is the plan going forward. More Ethiopia, the world over. Ethiopia to the stars. And it will truly be glorious. But for now, we've still got a little bit of Victoria 2 left. Six months, to be precise. And realistically, there isn't a whole lot that we can do at this point. I mean, America, but especially Britain, we're just total jerks. 
and nobody wanted to uh, sphere us, so that became a thing. Uh, people are already super in favor of free trade, so we'll go ahead and do that. We can do another reform. So let's go ahead and get, say, acceptable healthcare. Fantastic. The liberal faction is the ruling party, huh? Did they immediately close all of our subsidies? Yes, they did. That sounds right. That's okay. We've only got five months left. We can go ahead and crank up all of our all of our spending here and all of our social spending. Actually, let's this is the liberal party we're talking about. Let's do something along the lines of this. Uh, maybe more like. Actually, I think we can get away with this as our subsidies come off. Yeah, this is fine. We can operate at a small deficit. We've got plenty in the bank. So yeah, we're going to be starting essentially right... I, I believe we're going to be starting like right here in Imperator. I'm not sure exactly where it is, but it's right around Matama. Yeah, it, it's pretty much exactly Matama is where we're going to be starting because uh, Axum is up here. And then there's dudes over here that we're going to be taking out pretty early on. But regardless, we'll cover that once we actually get into Imperator. Which is going to be certainly interesting, because we're not going to start with iron. So I hope you guys like light infantry, because I don't like light infantry. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get historical theory researching. It's not going to be finished before the end of the game, though, is it? Oh, it's just barely going to be. Okay. Literally the day before what I believe is the end date. Okay, well, that's certainly going to be exciting. But we've only got just a couple of months left, and let's just take a quick look. Oof. China's not looking so hot. Tonga, how are you doing? You are currently American. Okay. Good job, Tonga. That uh, doesn't sound right with the Europa game that I've got going on, but whatever. We're going to prevent the, the power grab there. I don't care about militancy since the game is over literally in just over a month. Ethiopian Free Corps, huh? Soldiers are becoming more fascist. No thanks. I'll pass on that particular option. Okay, 31 December 1935 is when the historical theory gets done, and then I believe the very next day is the end of the game. So at this point, literally nothing matters. There's under a month left. I think. I'm just assuming based on the start date of Hoi 4. <laughs> Maybe that's wrong to do, but uh, that's exactly what I'm doing. Egypt is kind of wandering around with a little weak sauce army. Which is exciting for them, I'm sure. Okay, here we go. Historical theory actually didn't finish. Oh, it was on... Th it was 36? No. Should be... Oh, it can't go any further than the end date. It, like, it can't go to the end date with the projection. Okay, I gotcha. 100 momentous years have passed, and we've entered the modern age. The world is a radically different place. How did your country do? Not amazingly, but not awfully. Wait, we were in the sphere of France? First, when did that happen? And second, France, why didn't you help? <laughs> Ever? <laughs> Against anything? <laughs> Good job, France. Anyway, there we go. That is my very first game of Victoria 2 finished up. Join me tomorrow at 4 a.m. Central, that is the 14th of November 2019, for more Ethiopian goodness in Imperator Rome. See you all then.